Brother Aaron and uh, a couple other brothers there are live right now on God a Minute. And uh, they're discussing this asteroid right now that is, has the number 3565, uh, which mean, which uh, the name of the asteroid is Ojima. But the number of the asteroid 3565 in Strong's is Bride. And it's really neat because this asteroid they are showing, and I'll, I'll, I'll put a clip here of, of uh, what they showed here about this asteroid uh, Bride and the, other, and the other asteroid, Yeshua, uh, representing Jesus, following each other as a... Uh, Brother Aaron says they're dancing together. That's, it is really uh, a neat thing. And I say, brother, we, brethren, we have great reason to be excited. So this is asteroid 3565. It's asteroid name of Ojima. Now, Ojima in Nigeria means glory, respect, and honor. In Strong's 3565, the Greek word is bride. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And... Uh, it's going to be a great joy to dance with Jesus. We're going to have a, we're getting ready to dance on the streets of glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to share this with you here. If you ever need to um, refer back to any of those that we said, now that, now that we've kind of heard it, and maybe it'll come up in conversation again. So, um... What's next, guys? Should we shall we show the movement of um, Yeshua and Yeshua and the bride thing with Brad's picture? Sure, sure. Okay, let's do that. So, again, thanks, guys, for being here. Um, so, can you sh start it from 2017? Yes. So, guys, this is so so cool. This is so cool. Uh, Dean and I were trying to figure this out too, and trying to we're trying to lock in two asteroids at the same time and watch their movement. And Brad figured it out today, and like, and we watched the movement of Yeshua and that bride asteroid Ojima three five six five, which means bride. We watched the movement all the way back from what what nineteen forty eight? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We started at um, the rebirth of Israel in nineteen forty eight in May, and followed it all the way. We watched it. I don't know how many minutes it took, but it was a while and. And it was an, an amazing video, really, an amazing image to watch from that up to this point. Yeah. So, uh, but we're going to start from, is this 2017? Yes. So let's start from there, and I'll make that screen bigger. And uh, so we're going to watch Yeshua who uh, follow uh, the bride asteroid, and we're just going to watch it. And then we'll come back and we'll slow it down, okay? So you can see them moving through the stars. And you can see that they they travel together. It's like they're dancing. It's and it's like Ojima it. means bride again. Yes, yes. Ojima, the, the number is Greek for bride. And so Yeshu, Yeshua is behind the bride, flying through the constellation since 2017, just following her along. When when she goes back, he goes back, more or less. See that? They go, they're just gliding together. And then... Um, as we approach Hanukkah 2022, they get they get to the womb together. They, they, they're they in the womb at the exact same time. See how close they are now? And they go through that womb together. And, yeah, go ahead and just play it through. And maybe go even go to 2030, and, and then we'll come back to this. But this is amazing. They're, they're going to the womb together. Boom. And then boom, there's, there's trumpets, and we'll come back to that. But I just wanted to show you guys. Now Yeshua is in front mm -hmm. of the bride. The, the whole time before this, he was behind her, and now he's guiding yeah. her through the rest of the constellations. Um, we'll, we'll go all the way to 2030 just so you guys can see the movement here. It's like a nice little dance through the stars. It is. It's very poetic. Yeah. I think it's brilliant tonight. This is 2027 now. 27, yeah. And, and you'll notice in 2030 when we get there that uh, Yeshua is in Capricornus, uh, representing, in my opinion, the separation of the sheep and the goats. And then it, uh, the bride is in Sagittarius, 
were the boas representing us coming back on white horses. That's what that's what the way that's what I see in the picture. But you guys can tell me what you see. In- oh, that's exactly what I think too. I, I can't think of a better picture than that. Right about here, right? Yes. So that's 2030, Yeshua who was in Capricornus, separating the sheep and the goats. Well, that's right about 56 minutes on the uh, video in God a Minute 2023. Rapture dance in the stars feast of trumpets. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And I love this song. There's nothing more that I'd rather do than dance with you as you sing over me. There's nothing more that I'd rather do, Lord, than to worship you. So rejoice. I will put that song in a link in the description box. The Lord bless you all. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Are you getting excited? Are you getting ready? He loves you. If you're saved... He's forgiven you of your sins. Be in love with Jesus. This is the final days that you have to bear fruit for his glory. So prepare to see the bridegroom. Hallelujah. And bear fruit for him. This this may be your final days to be a light to lost people. Look, one great thing. We can do right now. We can't do when we get to that place that Jesus has prepared for us. We can't be a light to lost people. So it's a privilege right now, an honor and a privilege to be a light and a testimony to lost people to tell them how to be saved. The Lord bless you all in Jesus name. Amen.